Vicky here. Uh, Vicky of the future, at least as it relates to this video. <laughs> So um, what I did is I started installing the raised beds in the back. Um, I have some seeds that um, kind of need to start thinking about heading outside. <laughs> um, I know it's still February, okay? But in, there are early season crops that are fine with a mild frost. And that's really all that I would expect in my area out of March. So I needed to start getting a raised bed actually assembled and put in the earth so that I can plant these things. Um, fair warning. All right. Uh, my had a little helper during this video, uh, but I don't really want to show his face on the internet. So be prepared to see like a little sunshine every time he turns around and looks at you guys. So there you go. We'll watch it, we'll see what happens, and hope you enjoy. All right, first things first, I needed to clean off the hillside here. So um, I don't know what these weeds were, but they had pretty woody stems and shallow roots, and they had seeds on them too. Um, so I just tried to go ahead and pluck all of those up out of the ground without <laughs> dropping too many seeds along the way, because I sure don't really want to deal with those <laughs> later in the year. Um, but whatever happens, happens. Um, I was trying to weed eat the tall grasses there, um, and it did not work. So I kind of uh, rethought my plan, <laughs> um, and I decided to just go ahead and try to measure. That's where I failed the first time. <laughs> measure using the raised bed itself. I know it's approximately two foot by four foot, and I was going to give myself four foot passage there next to that fence line. Um, so just trying to kind of mark out where the bed is going to go. And there was actually a lot more leaves and sticks and things in the tall grasses than I realized. Um, so had it had a raking opportunity. Um, just trying to get, you know, I don't know, just trying to start off with a blank slate. So I raked that up and I got this sort of bagged up and ready to go um in our area the yard trash does have to be bagged in order to be picked up now i did consider <laughs> keeping these leaves and doing a compost bin with them but ultimately i just decided i need to take on one project at a time would i love to compost these yes do I have the time and means and materials and whatnot necessary to build a compost area for this? I really don't at the moment. So I ultimately decided to just bag it up and put it out to the, you know, to the road for pickup. And next year, you know, the leaves are going to fall again <laughs> in October. Um, I can maybe at that time work on setting up a place to compost. Um, I just keep having to remind myself I can only do so much at any one moment. <laughs> but then I went ahead and marked out where that bed was supposed to go and I started digging. Um, I ended up digging down um, really about a foot, the whole depth of the raised bed there in the back. And I um, had to fill in with some soil at the front <laughs> of the bed um, to try to just make it level. Um, so I, I, I kind of used my own body weight there to tamp down the ground and I just tried to make it as level as possible. I, I don't think it needs to be perfect. I do have a yard measuring stick. That's where I fell the second time. <laughs> um, I do have a yard measuring stick that is a level. So, like, yes, I could have made it perfect, but I 
My, my goal with having a level surface for the bed is just to keep the soil inside. Right, I don't want the bed itself sliding down the hill and I certainly don't want any soil that I am putting inside this raised bed to go sliding off down the hill. So that's my goal. Uh, we took a little water break <laughs> after I fell down the hill. Um, <laughs> Then I just uh, went went right back to it, trying to get um, it a good area for it up there. Um, I did have to cut around the corners more than I had expected, but that's fine. Um, just trying to make sure that we have that level surface for this bed to rest on. And once I was happy with how flat that was getting, then I, you can see I took some of the earth and I moved it forward on the hill. I didn't have to do much. It was maybe just two or three inches, but I needed, because of the, you know, angle of the embankment, um, I needed to fill in a little soil there at the bottom um, to make it level all the way across. And then I just filled in around the edges um, from where I had removed a little too much and this is me digging some rudimentary stairs for myself because I know I'm gonna have to haul soil up there to fill this raid bed with and I just couldn't imagine doing that with how slippery <laughs> and steep it is without some sort of stairs so I just you know used my shovel and built myself you know five little stairs there and um, of course he had to try it out too, just to make sure that they were good. And now he can get to the top, which he's never been able to do. So yeah, call the stairs a success. <laughs> they don't have to last forever, but they're good enough for now. And that's one done. 